been to one of those Asian restaurants where they have that incredible garlic butter sauce on top of crayfish and shrimp? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I went with you. That's right, like the crawfish bucket or uh, hot and juicy crawfish or the crawfish house. Well, you know they're top secret when it comes to their recipes. And tonight we are going to show you how to make that delicious garlic sauce, copycat version of the Asian fusion Cajun style. For seafood. There we go. Okay, we'll show you tonight. The seasonings we're going to use is Zatarain's uh, crawfish and shrimp crab oil. We'll be using a fresh lemon. We will also be using chicken bouillon, ground red pepper, paprika, lemon pepper, and of course, Old Bay seasoning. Okay, so now we're going to get the crab boil ready. Uh, what you'll need is one lemon. We'll quarter the lemon. And throw that into the water. And then also you'll need your crab boil. This is an assortment of spices. And we'll put that in there as well. And now, go ahead and put the water on the stove and bring it to a boil. While that's happening, we're going to go ahead and get started on the garlic butter sauce. Okay, so when you're ready to make the sauce, you're going to need two cups of margarine. You're going to need a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, tablespoon of cayenne chili powder, tablespoon of lemon pepper, tablespoon of red chili pepper, or paprika, excuse me, red paprika and a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. bouillon. You might want to tell them about the butter and the margarine. But actually, actually, it's margarine, don't use the butter. Don't use butter, use margarine. We're going to go ahead and put this in the pan. This is really a diet recipe. We'll go ahead and bring that to a boil, then we're going to put the garlic in and uh, to make it uh, translucent, and we'll go from there. This is three heads of fresh garlic, and we'll be putting that into a grinder and bringing this down to a much smaller size. Okay, so we'll put this fresh garlic mm, into the chopper plus. Get that in there to the top as much as we can. We'll process the whole thing. We'll probably just process it two batches. Okay, and so if you notice the consistency, the consistency of the garlic, we do have one big chunk in here. I'll take that out so we can reprocess. And I will switch this up. And do a second batch. We want to make sure that we use all three heads of garlic. selected to do this job because now my hands smell like nice fresh garlic. And there you have it. Okay so once the margarine is melted we're going to take a little bit of garlic here and we're going to put it in to the butter. Boy that smells really good. You missed some. I missed some. You, you don't want to miss any garlic. There's not quite enough in this dish. Okay, so once you put the garlic in the butter, we're going to take it back to the stove until it's translucent. Okay, now that the 
butter and the garlic is it's almost to a boil here. Uh, you'll notice the, the garlic is fairly translucent. At this time, we're going to go ahead and add in the seasoning. Now we start with an ounce, or a, excuse me, a um, tablespoon of each spice. Uh, but if you like it hotter, you can add more red pepper. If you don't like it hot, add less. Um, so you, this is pretty much a, a medium hot consistency once all the seasonings are in. So the chicken bouillon, Old Bay seasoning, okay. paprika, red pepper, chili powder, and the lemon pepper. And you have a rainbow of goodness. Let me tell you, this smells so good. Mm. And if you've ever had this at those crawfish boil houses, you know what smell I'm talking about. Okay, when the sauce is done, it'll have a look like this. It'll smell, your whole house will smell delicious. So we'll go ahead and take this, put it on the back burner so that it doesn't burn, and we'll go ahead and get started on the crab boil. And you may be able to see here the crab boil. Um, it's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and get it to a boiling point. Before we put the crabs in, I'm going to bring it to a rolling boil, and then I'll show you uh, next what we're going to be putting in here for the dinner tonight. This is an array of seafood that we'll be putting in our boil. We've got snow crab, manila clams, we have shrimp, and of course the famous blue crab. Notice he is still living. Come on, show that you're living. Well, he's still here. He, there he goes. We would also have uh, Crawfish. However, crawfish is not in season right now and it's very difficult to get, so we were not able to get it. However, our next video we will show you how to get real live crab. Now we're going to move our little crab friend over into the crab oil. You ready, pal? See you in a few minutes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the manila clams in. Okay, so what we've done is we've drained out the blue crabs and the manila clams, and now we've reserved the broth. We're going to put, these are already pre-cooked, snow crab, we're going to put them in, heat them up, as well as cook the shrimp. Shrimp don't take very long at all to cook. And we'll be back. Once the shrimp get to this color, uh, you're, they're ready to go ahead and get drained in the water, or in the sink. crab, we've got our shrimp, and we'd like to mix this all up, and then we'll go ahead and drain this out, and then I'll show you how we're going to mix it on to the, into the uh, sauce. <laughs> now and mix the garlic sauce into the seafood. Half, we still have the, half of the seafood in the pot to mix. Once you get it in there, Mix it around. Mmm, that looks delicious. Mm. Okay, now there's one other thing I do right before we serve it. Is we test it and uh, we see if it tastes good. So let's just take one of these little go ahead. clams out and make sure that if you have sauce in the clam, you go ahead and get all that out with it. One of the last things we're going to do. Mm. is we're going to put magic Good. dust, Tony's magic dust, on the crabs. And what this is, it's a little bit of the seasonings that we put into the sauce. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over. And if you don't want it too hot, don't add the pepper into the magic dust. Magic dust is basically garlic powder, cayenne pepper, Paprika, Old Bay, season. All right. Try it, clam. Make sure. It's right. Now we're going to go ahead and plate this. You know, and plating is really important.
important so that people could. Now this clam right here, you see this clam? It didn't open. You don't want to eat a clam that doesn't open. And you'll have a few of those. It's just nature of the beast. Okay. So now we have that. A little bit more magic dust. Oops. And there you go. Dinner. This is the Cajun, Vietnamese Cajun crawfish boil that you can get in any one of those. Cajun Vietnamese restaurants and you can do it at your house. Thanks for watching.